I don't often use uh, the proofing, soft proofing uh, features in Photoshop, but y you can use them. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, my buddy Nick Wheeler suggested uh, this. I mean, one, one of the questions always is you have all these colors in a file that are in Adobe 1998, and how do you know what your monitor is showing you? It's a smaller gamut than, the, than Adobe 1998 with all, all but a few monitors. So uh, this is how I do it. Uh, and uh, use proof setup. So you go to proof setup and it normally defaults to working CMYK. So we go into custom and you pick out your device to simulate. So I'm looking trying to find my display scroll through 11 million color sync profiles. One day I will learn how to organize them and there's my monitor right there and uh, right away that'll change using the preview it'll actually change the colors that are being displayed but I pretty much ignore that I'm not really looking at the colors here I'm gonna go to step two which is to turn the gamut warning on bang so there we have them those are the colors that uh, are in the file in Adobe 1998 but my monitor uh, cannot display accurately. So you, you toggle that on and off by uh, hitting Command Shift Y. So, so those are just areas that I'm going to keep my eye on as I'm making a print. Um, <clears throat> the other cool part is you can uh, very easily see what colors are in your file and uh, what is going to print and what's not going to print. Uh, depending on your paper and your printer. So let's go to proof setup again. Uh, go to custom and instead of selecting my display this time I'm gonna just pick my uh, let's say I'm gonna print with enhanced matte photo black. Okay I hit OK and you can see the colors kinda of dulled down. It's gonna you're not gonna really see the colors accurately on a on a movie like this but uh, again go into uh, gamut warning and look at that. All of those areas are going to be uh, having to be remapped. Uh, so they're going to go from Adobe 1998 down into a significantly smaller color space. Um, and once more, let's say, okay, I, I don't want to lose all those colors. I want to pick a paper that's going to work better. Uh, so let's just pick out Premium Luster. That's always a good one and hit OK. <clears throat> Turn the gamut warning on again. Nothing. Uh, everything, just to make sure, gamut warning off, gamut warning on. So what that's telling me is uh, with this printer and this paper, Premium Luster, Epson 2400, uh, all of these colors are within the gamut of the printer and the paper. They're they're coming to me through the file in Adobe 1998 and they're going to be translated as accurately as they can um, on, on the Premium Luster paper. <clears throat>